Did you know that in China, half of all new car sales in the past two months were electric vehicles? That's right, 50%. But one major automaker seems to be stuck in neutral on the road to electrification. Let's take a deep dive into what's going on with General Motors and their electric vehicle struggles. Let's rewind a bit. 2025 was supposed to be a landmark year for GM's electrification journey. A million EVs rolling off the assembly line. A bold statement that sent shockwaves through the industry. But recent announcements paint a different picture. GM recently admitted they're falling short of that million EV target. Their explanation was that the market just isn't ready for EVs. Hold on a second though. Let's check the battery on that statement. Data from reputable sources like JD Power shows that EV sales in North America have actually been on an upward trend this year, climbing a respectable 12%. So there is a market for electric vehicles, and it's growing. So what's the real story behind GM's slowdown? To understand that, we need to shift gears and look under the hood of their operations. Here's where things get interesting. Battery fires, infotainment systems that wouldn't cooperate, and entire trucks breaking themselves at charging stations. Yeah, those issues haven't exactly instilled confidence in potential EV buyers. Now, GM is pointing the finger at consumers, suggesting a lack of demand for their EVs. But is that a fair assessment? How nice it would be if we take a closer look at the global EV landscape. While General Motors was busy making headlines with its ambitious EV goals, a revolution was quietly unfolding on the other side of the globe. China, the world's largest auto market by a significant margin, has become a hotbed for electric vehicle adoption. In just the past two months, a staggering 50% of all new car sales in China were either plug-in hybrids or fully electric vehicles. This translates to millions of consumers actively choosing EVs over traditional gasoline-powered cars. So, what went wrong for GM in this booming market? The answer lies in a combination of factors. Firstly, GM appears to have underestimated the pace of EV adoption in China. While they were busy outlining plans for a future electric world, Chinese consumers were already embracing EVs with open arms. This lack of foresight resulted in GM being caught off guard by the rapid shift in consumer preferences. Secondly, GM struggled to adapt its product offerings to the specific needs of the Chinese market. Chinese consumers often prioritize features like spacious interiors, advanced connectivity options, and competitive pricing. While GM's EVs might have been technologically sound, they may not have resonated with Chinese consumers on a practical level. According to a study by McKinsey & Company, Chinese consumers are willing to pay a premium for EVs compared to gasoline-powered cars, but only if the EVs offer features and functionality that justify the additional cost. Here, the GM seems to have missed the mark. Furthermore, the rise of domestic Chinese EV manufacturers like BYD and Seik Motor has created a fiercely competitive landscape. These companies have a deeper understanding of the Chinese consumer and are able to develop and launch EVs that cater directly to their preferences. This local advantage has given them a significant edge over foreign competitors like GM. The consequences of these missteps are clear. GM has seen its market share in China plummet in recent years. This not only represents a significant loss in revenue, but also raises concerns about GM's ability to compete effectively in the global EV market. Can they adapt their strategies and regain a foothold in China? So, what's the real culprit behind GM's struggles? Mainly software. In today's EV world, reliable and sophisticated software is the engine that drives the entire experience. Unfortunately, GM's track record with software hasn't exactly been smooth sailing. Do you remember the disastrous launch of the Blazer EV? Riddled with bugs and glitches, it wasn't exactly a shining example of GM's software prowess. Mary Barra, CEO of General Motors, has consistently emphasized the company's dedication to the customer and their evolving needs in the electric vehicle era. But actions, as they say, speak louder than words. Make sure to look deeper and analyze whether GM's recent pronouncements translate into concrete steps towards customer centricity. One key area to examine is GM's approach to addressing the software issues that plagued their earlier EV launches. Recall the highly publicized case of the Chevrolet Blazer EV. Reviewers and early adopters reported a multitude of software bugs and glitches that significantly hampered the driving experience. This translates directly to customer frustration and lost trust. Did GM acknowledge this issue and implement effective solutions? Data from JD Power throws shade on GM's EVs. Their 2023 initial quality study assigns a score based on problems per 100 vehicles in the first 90 days of ownership. The industry average for EVs was 180 PP100, but GM scored much higher. This suggests software issues remain a concern for GM, 
as a higher score means more problems. In simpler terms, J.D. Power's study found more problems with GM EVs compared to the average new electric car. However, there are some glimmers of hope. GM has recently announced partnerships with leading tech companies like Microsoft to bolster their software development capabilities. Whether these collaborations translate into tangible improvements for customers remains to be seen. Another crucial element of customer focus is transparency. When production delays or quality issues arise, clear and timely communication with customers is vital. In the past, GM's handling of these situations hasn't always been exemplary. Recent news cycles have been dominated by stories of frustrated customers facing long wait times for their ordered EVs, with limited explanations from the company. Moving forward, GM can demonstrate a commitment to customer centricity by prioritizing open communication. This includes proactively informing customers about potential delays, offering clear explanations for issues, and outlining solutions and timelines for resolution. Ultimately, regaining customer trust hinges on GM's ability to deliver on their promises. Only time will tell if their renewed focus on the customer translates into a demonstrably improved EV ownership experience. There's no denying that the future of the auto industry is electric. Companies like CATL are pushing the boundaries of battery technology with mind-blowing advancements. Their latest innovation? Batteries that could potentially last for a staggering 1.2 million miles. Consider an EV with that kind of range, coupled with robust and user-friendly software. That's the recipe for a true game-changer. Can GM reclaim its place in the EV race? The big question of GM being a part of this electrifying future still remains. As of now, they're on shaky ground. They've become more of a North American brand, losing significant market share in key regions like China. While GM has blamed unnamed suppliers for causing production delays, it's worth exploring the situation further. Here are some additional details to consider. GM's heavy reliance on automation equipment for battery module assembly highlights the potential risks associated with a single supplier. Investigating alternative suppliers or developing in-house capabilities could be crucial for future production stability. Production delays in one area can quickly cascade throughout the manufacturing process. Streamlining communication and implementing better contingency plans can help mitigate such disruptions. It's not all doom and gloom for GM. Here are some positive developments to keep in mind. GM's partnership with LG Chem for battery production is a step in the right direction. Continued investment in research and development of next-generation battery technology is essential for long-term success. GM's big bet for the future is the Altium platform, designed from the ground up for electric vehicles. This modular architecture promises significant advantages, but its success hinges on delivering on key metrics. Will Altium live up to the hype? Altium boasts a focus on battery integration and lightweight materials, aiming to maximize driving range on a single charge. Early estimates suggest Altium-based vehicles could achieve ranges exceeding 400 miles, putting them in competition with industry leaders. The platform is designed to accommodate powerful electric motors, potentially offering exhilarating acceleration and handling for a thrilling driving experience. Can GM translate these promises into reality? Only time and real-world testing will tell if Altium delivers the efficiency, range, and performance it claims. Strategic partnerships with other companies can help GM overcome some of its challenges. Collaboration in areas like software development or charging infrastructure could be beneficial. The future of GM's EV ambitions hinges not just on the company's actions, but also on consumer choices and investor confidence. Here's what you can do. Also, consumers need to do their research before making an EV purchase. Consider factors like range, performance, software functionality, charging infrastructure availability, and brand reputation. Consider GM's progress in addressing its EV challenges. Monitor their investments in battery technology, software development, and production capacity. By staying informed and making informed decisions, both consumers and investors can play a role in shaping the future of the EV industry, including GM's potential success in this rapidly evolving market. So guys, let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Share your thoughts, insights, and questions about GM's EV journey. Is there anything we missed? What are your predictions for the future of electric vehicles? Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of EVs. Until next time, keep it electric.